Hello, how are you? Hello, I'm Afu. Nice to meet you. Tech conferences are a, a testament, really, to the sheer pace of innovation. Creative breakthroughs are obviously rightly lauded, but today's triumph soon gets overtaken by the next big thing. In digital power communications, synchronous digital hierarchy, or SDH, was the future once. Then along came fine grain optical transport network to build on it. Optimised for modern power grid communications with its growing data demands, FGOTN offers more precise bandwidth allocation than SDH and that adds up to greater flexibility, efficiency and reliability. So, time for two experts to tell us a bit more. My name is Bert Klaps, uh, I'm an ITU standards expert. Hi, my name is Giovanni Massing, I'm ICT Director of Felicidad Mozambique a Mozambican power utility company. Ever since we invented uh, optical fiber communications, we've actually been striving to get to higher and higher capacities. So we've been starting with, uh, uh, let's say, the uh, plain old uh, telephone uh, uh, systems, and ever been increasing, to, for instance, to PDH at 100 megabits per second, SDH Sonnet at the gigabits per, uh, per second, and finally into uh, the optical transport network where we now are at 100 gigabits per second and even working on, uh, on speeds beyond one terabit. But of late we've also been looking into ways to uh, um, carry large amounts of uh, lower capacity signals specifically for, for industries and enterprise. So those signals have a capacity below one uh, gigabit per second and we've uh, been enhancing the optical transport network technology to, uh, to, add, those, to, to add support for those, uh, um, those signals. Uh, and we call that FGOTN, which stands for Fine Brain OTN Transport Network. Bert was just talking as well about the, the large number of very small granularity services within the industry. What do you make of that, that large number? Okay. So, first of all, let me share that uh, in 2023, we as EDM, we released a new digital strategy for five years, 2023 to 2028. Within our strategy, there is one pillar which is very relevant. It's a, related to the integration between infrastructure and operations. So for us to get uh, the result of our digital strategy. We need to invest in uh, 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 operating and infrastructure. So we will invest in the in IT and OT integration. We will invest in IoT in connectivity. We will invest also in the edge computing. So for OT networks, we uh, still have a huge amount of uh, small granularity production, uh, production control signals that goes through the SDH. So as you know, SDH has a very, very small capacity in terms of bandwidth. So for us to reach our objective of the digitalization integration, we cannot do it without uh, a good bandwidth. So uh, that's why the using SDH now is a bottleneck for us. But, but presumably you've got to be investing in intelligent services as well as existing services. So you need to do both together. Definitely. That's the approach. So how will you construct your networks in the future to ensure that you're always responsive to this intelligent transformation? Okay. But along our infrastructure, we have main substations. And most of them, the distance between them is very long. And it needs an uh, ultra-long haul transmission to, 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 to make sure that we, we get uh, a day. So, we've been doing SDH for many years. We have expertise on uh, uh, SDH in terms of operating and maintaining the SDH. So that is what we're going to do for the future. So we have expertise, we have to do that, so to make sure that we, um, we avoid 
we avoid the high cost costly learning new technologies. Well, you talked about a new technology earlier, FGOTN. How are you going to ensure that FGOTN meets the requirements of companies such as EDM? FGOTN is able to meet all those strict requirements, the low, the low latency, the, the high reliability, the, uh, the low jitter uh, numbers. Um, and that's all because it's based on the existing SDH uh, technology. So both FGOTN and uh, um, SDH are hard pipe technologies. So they basically uh, meet, uh, meet, meet the requirements uh, as, as the current uh, uh, networks do. Uh, and the, the, the other advantage is because it's based on SDH, that uh, operations and, ma and maintenance and, uh, and management uh, personnel that is already um, used to working with SDH, they can take that paradigm and use it in FGOTM. So it's basically the same uh, operations and management as their existing networks already. But furthermore, because it's an enhancement or an extension of the optical transport network, we also automatically benefit from everything that OTN has to offer. That is the, the, the very high capacities, like I said earlier, up to the one terabit, but also the very long reach uh, connections, so the single span connections that can like, go to thousands of kilometers, um, and all the intelligence uh, uh, tools that the uh, OTN network has to uh, provide. As uh, Bert uh, uh, mentioned, uh, after many years uh, of investigation of the different technology, we finally choose FG OTN as our standard for the, the communication. And we have piloted it and we have also installed it in our live network. So uh, from now on, we are very happy with the results. So we hope to continue uh, 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 following the, the development of the um, FG OTN for the uh, future use at ADL. It's very striking that new technologies clearly drive applications and those applications in turn further drive the new technologies and it's interesting that as a, a representative of that new technology FGOTN with its kind of superior abilities is going to be really assisting that transformation towards an intelligent industry future so Bert thanks very much and Giovanni thanks very much thank you thank you very much